Hey everybody, Ruth aka Book Jetta here. You're gonna hear me coughing once in a while because of the season's changing. Not to, due to virus that's going around, but I do have um, seasonal allergies. And it is going to be spring here in a matter of like maybe next by next week. So my allergies are starting to act up now. So you can hear coughing, me sniffling, because I have to update my allergy medication. So, yeah. What this basically is, this video is going to be pertaining to, is a reading update about what I'm going to be reading for the upcoming next, maybe, six, five days? Or next week and a half, at most. Um, and that is two new releases, one that I got from the library, as well as one I had ordered that came in the prior Saturday, and that is the, <coughs> excuse me, and so let's get started. The first one that I actually started is from the my local branches library called The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver, the author of One Day in December. I heard that this one is a tear, kind of a tearjerker. I'm not anticipating that. But I heard otherwise that it's also good, good and well written. So I'm going to hope to get by, through that very quickly. The an other book that I had ordered that just came out this month that a lot of people know about already is the Sarah J. Mass book. House of Earth and Blood by Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. And I actually am really anticipating reading this one this weekend. And it, yes, it's going to be a weekend read for me, hopefully. So I've heard that it's controversial, stuff like that. That at some point you want to cry, at other points you want to throw the book. Um, Sarah J. Mass, of course, is as usual, from what I've heard, has the, her readers' hearts on a string and just pulls, or has her <coughs> readers' hearts in a gris in a um, in a vice and just squeezes. Either which way is that anyway surprising of Miss Mass and general with any of her books. Um, who have, for those who, for, who's read her Akatar series, would not su find that surprising whatsoever that she vices her readers' hearts to the point of they want to scream in a good way, in a bad way, or makes you, and then makes you just fall in love with the characters. Not surprising. I'm hoping to get into that. So if you've read um, The Two Lives of Lydia Bird and um, The House of Earth and Blood, let me know down below what you thought about it. Ciao for now.